Hi, I'm Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants and I appreciate you being here today. I wanted to talk to you about BricsCAD and I'm talking about BricsCAD because we call it the Better, Faster, Smarter CAD system. Um, and if you've seen any of my other videos in this series, you know that I, I refer to BricsCAD as the best CAD system to hit the market in many decades now. And today I wanted to show you two really important tools built into BricsCAD that explain why it's better, faster, and smarter. All right? So at the end of the day, when it comes to CAD drafting, the thing you need to keep in mind is that your average CAD drafter can access over 15,000 commands in a single day. Think about that, 15,000 separate clicks of the mouse. That's a lot of work and a lot of time involved. And anything that you can do to reduce how long it takes you to find each of those commands makes you more productive. And BricsCAD has two basic features I want to show you today. The first one is called the, um, the, the palette tabs. And the palette tabs are over here on the right hand side. And what I want to show you is they're not unusual for maybe from the CAD system that you have today. But what's great about these is that they're all built into a single palette. So you see here I can go in and I can choose my properties. And then as I go in, I pick different items on my screen. I can, I can you know, get the details about the properties for any given item that I choose. All right. Now, I can also switch to my layer list. Now, these are common features. We do these 100 times a day. But usually in your current CAD system, you probably have different tools. You have to go run the layer control. You have to run the properties. You have to right click and choose properties. Or you have to have three or four floating palettes open and taking up screen space. Here, everything's been integrated for ease of use into a single palette. So as I work my way down, I can look at any XREFs, attachments, underlays. I can look at any uh, dynamic constraints that I have, parameters and constraints. I can use a sheet set manager here in BricsCAD. Right? I can go in and look at BIM structures. I can connect to external items like um, you know BricsCAD Cloud or BricsCAD 24-7. I can even create and generate tool palettes where I can you know, add and modify all of my own custom tools. I can even create my own custom tool sets right? just by right clicking and adding palettes and modifying palettes. Right? So I'll come back to that in just a minute. But that idea of the palettes is really, really helpful. It saves you a lot of time, it keeps everything in one reusable, adjustable space. And it can actually be undocked and moved to a second screen if you need to. But everything will stay within that one palette. Now to go along with it, the other tool that is really important is the idea of the drawing Explorer because the Drawing Explorer does the same thing. And if you think about it, when you're working on any file, right, having to do layer creation, layer control, line styles, all of the different tools and features and customizations and configurations that you need to change on every single drawing, you have to know where those commands are. You have to find them. I, you know, I'll close this real quick. You know, so if you want to go in and you wanted to modify a, a dimension style, you have to know to go to the dimension tool down and which one of these hundred tools to choose from. And then if you want to do layers, you have to go back to your home ribbon and open up the layer control box to, to get to that. Right? And if you want to do uh, you know, annotation, you have to go to the text and you have to go to the manage textiles. And there's all kinds of, of ways to get there. With the drawing explorer, everything's in one single panel. So you see here I can go to the layers for this drawing or any open drawing or even entire folders. Right? And you see I can create and modify and add new layers turn layers, make them active, all my layer controls here. I can create layer states. I can add and, and, and manipulate and change new line types from different files, add new line types to my file. I can create and modify multi-line styles and see all of the settings. See, I don't have to go search for anything. Everything's been combined. All your text styles, your dimension styles, table styles, even down to the point where you get your blocks. And you see as I work, here's a listing of every block. And you see I'm getting a preview of all my blocks right here on the bottom. So any of these that I, I need, I, I can go in here and I can adjust and modify and block edit them, set their defaults, their layers, whether or not they're explodable, okay? And one other thing that's really nice about this is this is a great way to incorporate with those palettes. So you see here I can just right click on any block and I can add to my current tool palette, okay? And just like that, I now have those available. See now that sync block has been added to my custom tools palette. And I can go in and set all the default properties for that as to what layer it comes in on and so on. So that it's very easy for me to just click on items and place them wherever I need them. That's the kind of intelligent functionality that's built into BricsCAD that makes it so much better, faster, and smarter than any other CAD system out on the market. And I really hope you guys will look into it. Thanks for your time.